that like you know and i think that um that when you meet people mm -hmm. thank god the majority of the people that i met that i've loved have shared that same love back mm -hmm. with me. yeah have you ever met anybody that wasn't like they've been ex just excited to meet me okay as i them you know what i'm saying yeah yeah um mm. Mm. Could y'all read those messages? Read it for him, Craig. What they said? He was texting. It was like they think they they think that white folks owed him uh -uh. something. You got you got to go up above that. Okay. Because what he said in the first one, all you see is bunch of bunch uh -huh. of niggas. I was like, Lord. And see, this is why I stay on their asses. But it's not all of them. It's not all of them. But when I'm staying on it, I'm staying on people like him. Those are the white folks that I be talking about. We here now. Go ahead. Go ahead, Craig. Speaking of white folks like him, <laughs> I don't know if any of you looked at that interview with Don Lemon mm. and Elon Musk. Mm. And I kindly tweeted. I tore his ass up on Twitter. No, give me the napkin, please. Yeah, I got you. Elon Musk is the quintessential, there's your word, example of the kind of white person that I'm talking about. So, so Don Lemon, say? they were talking about DEI, mm -hmm. and I know many of you know what DEI is, but mm -hmm. I'm just going to say it just for those so we all on it's the same page. Diver diversity, equity, and inclusion. Affirmative action. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it, DEI is pretty much like a lot of these corporate companies have adopted it, but they are trying to abolish it now. Pay attention. Um, DeSantis and all these other people I have been. I watched Candace Owens talking about it. She's on the Breakfast Club. I'm going to be watching that today. I watched her talk about it. I seen her. Meanwhile, that bitch came, and I and I don't even usually call women bitches, but <laughs> that bitch came through on some old affirmative action shit. <laughs> Candace Owens, <laughs> and now she tried kind of like C Caitlyn was just doing. See, you see, you see how we tied that together. <laughs> but. DEI is diversity, equity, and inclusion. And basically, it gives an opportunity for people of color and women who are qualified to sit at the table that they otherwise wouldn't be able to sit at. They're given an opportunity to sit at the table, whether it's admission into a college, whether it's a position at a corporate company, or whatever it is, or getting funding for whatever. It's not lowering the standard or making it easier for them to get in. That's not what it is. Elon Musk was sitting on this fucking uh, interview yesterday with Don Lemon talking just as stupid. And what I saw when I looked at that interview, one, I saw so many things looking at it, but here's the truth. He is proof that you don't have to be smart to be successful. Mm -hmm. You really don't. And he was basically saying, well, you know, uh, there are a lot of, um, uh, like at Duke University, he said that they were lowering the, the, the admission scores and things like that for people of color and women to get in. They've lowered the standards for people of color and women to become doctors. And Don Lemon was like, that's not true. Where's the data to support that? He said, oh, well, it's on Twitter. And he said, yeah, but those are people's opinions. Those aren't facts. Those are people's opinions. And then Don Lemon said, well, don't you feel like you have some sort of a social responsibility? He canceled that show. He can't, yeah, it, well, well, it's not streaming on, on, on Twitter. Well, that's where it was originally supposed to. That's where it was, yeah, it was supposed to be there. But it's like, the truth is, here's the truth. A lot of these right-wing people, these Republicans, and who are talking about removing these diversity, DEI uh, initiatives and things like that, they don't even know what the fuck they talking about. They don't even know what this shit is. They're just, again, group thought. 
They just jumping on some shit that they think they know and they don't really know. And so it's re it really is sad. Like it, it, Elon, I, I tweeted yesterday. You's a dummy, bitch. Like, you, like he's he's so he's such a supporter of free speech, free thinking, free right. And I'm like, okay, well here's here here you go for free thought. Don't block my Twitter account either, because if you believe that people should be able to get on here and say whatever. And Don Lemon brought up those black people that were killed in Buffalo, New York, because that because that white boy went and shot them up because of something that he read. Yeah, I mean, it's just like it's really really sad. And then. He tweets things out that aren't factual, and his his rebuttal was, "Well, if I say something that isn't true, then there there are message boards and people come and they they put the truth up there." And Don Lemon said, "Well, do you think as many people read those as they read the original tweet?" Right. And and uh, here we go, Craig. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm so sorry. What? That's why I said I will pay one hundred dollars right. to those people out there who can go forth and find those videos of me specifically saying mm -hmm. it. Because people like to spin a narrative about things, and they'll go with the, they'll go with what they've heard. Exactly. And I'm like, that's not true. That's not these. These are things I have not said. These things. It's 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 really sad. It really is sad. I, I mean, oh my God! Like, and it is true. Uh, he is. Elon Musk is uh, South African, though. So yeah, he is South African. So he is yeah. South African. So you could, you could kind of, I guess you could kind of see how the kind of environment he was mm -hmm. brought up in. Mm -hmm. And um, he tried to act like he doesn't support Donald Trump. He said that he wasn't going to donate to his campaign. Speaking of Donald Trump, that motherfucker can't come up with that $454 million that he needs to. And my girl Letitia up there in New York. Uh-huh. Uh, I think she's the attorney general. She talking about seizing his property starting Monday if they don't come up with the money. None of the banks are willing to loan him any money. He's trying to... <laughs> he said he was trying to put up some of his properties for collateral. They said, no, we don't want that. We want stocks and bonds. We want cash. And if he doesn't come up with this money, they're going to start seizing his properties. 454. But you're a billionaire. That's how you know that motherfucker was lying. If you're a billionaire, you should have a half a billion dollars to pay that. Craig, let's, let me ask this question to you mm -hmm. while they watch. Uh-huh. This is us having our private talk that we do. Okay. Now, are we, we going to be honest? I'm, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Financially. Uh-huh. <laughs> Go ahead. Tax bracket wise. Girl, I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. Go ahead. We talked about this the other day. Go ahead. We should be Republican. In terms of we talked about this the other day. In terms of tax bracket, yes, we 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 should vote for Trump because it would give us more of a tax shelter. But because we think about the greater good, we don't vote like that. No. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it would give us more tax shelter. But the truth is, you got, for me, I can't allow myself to vote for somebody who was okay with putting children in cages. And there are people who can justify it and say, oh, well, they weren't white children. They were Hispanic children. But like that you can justify that, like that's insane. You know what I'm saying? And, and speaking of voting and the way that people vote, white women only vote in their own interest. They never vote in the interest of all women. That's why this Roe versus Wade shit got repealed. White women always vote selfishly, generally speaking. I'm not saying that there aren't white people out there that, have, that, have, that didn't vote for him or whatever, but white women generally don't vote in the favor of other women. Now, black women, historically and traditionally, vote in the interest of all women. There's data to support that. Ricky said he couldn't hear all of that ridiculous smacking. Now you won't be able to hear it all. <laughs> oh. Thanks. We were, we were having lunch in the midst of us working for you. <laughs> Tammy, put that over there for mamas. Yeah, somebody said 53% of white women voted for Trump. Yeah, that's true. You know? 
but even on issues too. You know what I mean? White women won't vote for issues that affect mostly black women. I have a question, Craig. Like, Generally you know speaking, I also think that they. I also think that they also vote with their men, also. Right, and then and, and then just from a historical, don't forget your point. And just from a historical standpoint, oftentimes when we talk, think about slavery and oppression, it's like we think about white men, but white women have been complicit. Don't get it fucked up. White women oftentimes are the reason that a lot of black people, African slaves, were killed. It was a nigga. That's right. Emmett Till. It was a nigga. That's right. We can't forget about Rosewood. That was a real place. That was, yeah, Rosewood, Florida. It was a nigga. Oh, That's right. It was a nigga. Yes, yeah, Rosewood, Florida. Uh, 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 out here, uh, Black Wall Street, uh, out there in, um, in Missouri. Even Central Park. Did you know Central Park was once a black town? A prosperous black town. Did you all know that? And they built Central Park on it. And mostly niggas can't even afford to live around there. Lake Lanier, up here in Georgia. Yeah, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Thank. What did I say, Missouri? Yeah. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Sorry, thank you so much for that. Black Wall Street was Tulsa, Oklahoma. There, there was a town full of black academicians, doctors, attorneys, wealthy people. White vigilance came in and burned that town down. So when white folks say, oh, you all need to pull yourselves up by your, boot, by your bootstrap. Stop looking for a handout. Bitch, we, we, we built shit. You couldn't handle us being self-sufficient and independent. Somebody said Rodeo Drive. Rodeo Drive. But then Lake Lanier. Okoye, Florida. Oh, guess right. Lake Greenwood. Lakewood, um, I'm sorry. Uh, Lake Lanier was a black town that was prosper prosperous and they flooded it. Yeah. Seneca Village. Wilmington, North Carolina. Ooh, they just writing it. I'm telling you, this is this is not unique. These are not independent cases. This is what has happened historically. So don't let folk make you believe that black folks are lazy and we just don't have the wherewithal to build and that we don't have the capacity to galvanize and come together because we've done that. Historically, we have supported each other. So remove that narrative where you talk talking about it's hard to support black businesses. No, we did it. But you also go through, Craig, and you tear black businesses up when they do wrong. I tear everybody up when they do yes, wrong. Yes, you do. You do. I tear all businesses up when they do wrong. Yeah. I don't think that's a bad thing, though. Now if I do try to give a little. I do try bad. to give a little more grace to black black owned. Businesses. I mean, I do well, I mean, too. If you're doing bad, but here's my thing with black people. Know? Yeah, but here's my thing with some black businesses. Some black businesses get in business and then they start like like. Everything is five thousand dollars from the start. You like, girl, hold, hold. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. And sometimes they do me on that fuck like, shit. Like, dog, dog, I want to support you, but like, why are you trying to, like, why are you price gouging me? Come on, somebody. Right. Why? And I don't really come into anybody's business as a black person looking for a discount. I always come in and I'm like, well, honey, you know. And here's the thing: what what people like to use their celebrity. I don't. I don't do that. Mm -hmm. I don't do it. I'm to like, try to get stuff for free. You yeah, mean? I'm like, how mm -hmm. much do you charge for, you know, right. saying, whatever, like charge me how much you charge, right? but still throw me a little song, but charge me how much, because <laughs> bitch, I already know you're going to charge me. You about to skyrocket the price, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you and know, that's why you even have people buy stuff for you. You'd be like, go ahead, go get it for me and I'll send you the money to go get it. You know, you do stuff like yes. that. Yes. Yes. Someone asked the question, what are our thoughts on where on a, them building a water park on Lake Lanier? Oh, I did hear about that. I did hear about all that. those black souls are at the bottom and of that's that. why those people be down there at the bottom of that water, too. And they never find them. That's why those black souls come right in there pulling out. Now, I, now, whoever made that movie Lake Lanier, they was late. <laughs> Y'all should have waited a little while longer and got y'all budget together before y'all put that bootleg ass movie out. I need a real movie to come through about Lake Lanier. Mm -hmm. Cause that one I watched on Amazon, I was like, nah, girl. And they need to start with how they, they flooded that black town. Um, how it was a black town and they flooded it. Girl. Uh... And why bound? You say you got me. All right, good. I hope y'all. I hope someone comes through and make a real movie about that because when I watched it, remember I told you, Tammy, when we you said, "Ooh, I'm about to watch Late Lanier," and then I said, "Grace, late." 
uh-huh. and it was late. It was very late. Like what was what was it was late, late Mo. <laughs> and I just, it was like one of those Nollywood movies. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? Don't 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 do that. No, it got some good. Shut up! Shut your fucking mouth. Okay. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Okay. Um, you can't front on Nollywood movies. You know they be good. You know Nollywood movies are good. <laughs> don't, don't say nothing messy neither. Don't say nothing messy, Maddie. Because I know I I can see the look on your no, face. You about to say no, no. You messy. have to listen, Mo. <laughs> I have watched some Nollywood porn, to oh. Nigerian porn. Oh, really? I've been. It's been very interesting. I can't. I can't. I can't watch Nigerian porn. You can't? No, I can't. I can't. Can you? Why t- you can't watch Nigerian porn? Because I'm so used to how you don't see yourself in those people. No, I just. I. It's. It's. Oh, 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 it's going to be the accent. Oh, oh, it's going to throw me off. Oh, oh, so you don't like hearing the Nigerian accent? Oh, not in that, not in that, not in that, because it's going, I I know how it's going to go. Oh, Oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Oh, yes. Oh, 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 I'm more, I'm more going to be laughing more than I'll be. Oh, oh, Jack. Oh, 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 because I'm, because. Africans make fun of other Africans' accent. Really? We make fun of our own accent. Yeah. Mo, how often do you jack off? It's okay to tell us. We all jack off no, in the room. That's personal business. Even Tammy. <laughs> you say it. So. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, Tammy. You look good. No, are y'all there? I'm not anti Nigerian. I love I'm my country. Open the door. I love my country. And I just I'll can't. Be on my way I just can't watch. Minutes. I just can't watch Nigerian porn. That's about it. I can watch everything yeah. else. Yeah, and then I'll be on I my just way. Can't right do Nigerian it's... porn. Oh, okay. Mm-mm. I mean, it's just it's just because I, I know I know how it's going to go. I, I, it took me a long time for, before I start watching trans porn. I wouldn't watch it. I, I yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Why? Watch, I wouldn't watch it because I was. I wouldn't. Why? Um, I didn't like it at first. I didn't. Be- well, all right. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> okay. Cause, I mean, <laughs> that's what Craig was waiting for. <laughs> right. All this, all this playing around. Hold on. I gotta open the door for the Craig, people that's coming to work okay. at the house. Craig was like, "Okay, tell us." Like, right. I didn't like it because it was. Craig, you love to make me do this. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just, just want to know what your what your what your thought process is. I don't watch porn. I didn't like to watch it because I didn't see me when I first started watching trans porn. I only saw white men fucking the girls, black so, trans girls, or white fucking trans the girls? black trans girls. I would only see them fucking the black trans girls. They would be sucking all, all. They would be sucking so many white dicks, and I didn't have any problem with any interracial stuff. It's just like that. That wasn't what I was. I wasn't. And that's why when I started producing adult films and adult entertainment films, it was strictly niggas. Mm-hmm. It was hood niggas. It was fine ass hood niggas. It was around the way hood niggas. It was, I set the precedence for what Tammy does now. <laughs> but you crawled so she could walk. I actually birthed so that she could be birthed. Right. Because my gay mama came in doing it. I saw her doing that. So it was just a lot of. It, it just I saw lots of just they was on they was over sexualizing the 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 trans girls and they were just like I like and I saw most of them being topped by the, the, trans, the girls. trans girls and I used to be oh the like, white guys were being tra- top yeah and I was like but I'm not a top mm-hmm. like I like real like I like niggas I like niggas. so I started creating films where I saw myself and this is why I tell people you gotta create. What you want to see. What you want to see. Especially those of you that be crit- critiquing us and criticizing us, tell us why we don't do that. You have to create what you want to see. We're creating what we, what we see. Yeah, and so I, when I started doing those films and those flicks like that, you know, I, I, I made sure. Be, and, I, and listen, I used to tell those niggas when they come right there, if you, if you're not, you're not going to suck my dick off camera and then get your dick sucked. No, you got to, we going to, what we want to do, because I want to break down. I know I'll never get credit for a lot of things that I've done mm-hmm. in this life. I know I won't. Mm-hmm. I know that I will not, but it's okay. But I will speak my own truth. 
Them girl, none of those girls was doing doing those things before the the TS came along and knocked and knocked that motherfucking corner out mm -hmm. for that to be a niche market for mm -hmm. that to be done. Mm -hmm. Like you only saw th those white men and the black girls, and then you then, 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 then it was race mm -hmm. porn, and then you also saw you know when the when the when the black guys did it you only saw the black guys that they did hire you only saw them a certain way and you only saw them right. attracted to the white girls right i'm like now nah, the trade and this is why there were so many there's so many people had these preconceived notions that only white men like trans and the black men that that are into trans need to be in the ones that look a certain way they need to be skinny uh -huh. they need to be you know white they mm -hmm. need to be so when i came in and i was hood you know there was a lot there were lots of threads and forums reading me mm -hmm. oh she's fat and i wasn't even as heavy as i am now mm -hmm. oh that's she's she belongs in bbw or oh those men that's uh like do she are, are they signing waivers and you know like trying mm -hmm. to trying to trying to see like was i really on top of my business acumen you know right, what i'm saying right. i'm like i ended up winning all types of awards in the in, in the industry that there were so many people like huge companies that were huge that, you? that, that, the that, that i would that, that i wouldn't fold mm -hmm. but we'll pay you three thousand dollars to come over here and do a scene i'm like sweetheart are you crazy <laughs> <laughs> no we need to sit down and we need to talk about how you pay me a portion and i also need ownership i need a third i need something mm -hmm. i need to be a part of the distribution in the market so they didn't like me mm -hmm. uh -oh. They didn't like me because I came in talking business. I've always talked business about mm -hmm. we're not this we're not doing that. I'm not working for you. We'll work together. I'm not working for you. And I made so <laughs> much noise. You can type in, I have not been in the business for over a decade. You can type in the words big <laughs> dick bitch. None of those words. I, I don't own any of those words. I haven't trademarked. I can't trademark any of those words because those are words. Big dick bitch. I haven't been in the business for over a decade. Mm -hmm. And I have I I came in that market and I told them this is what I'm gonna do. This is how I'm gonna do it. And we're gonna do the things that how I wanna do it, or we're not doing a motherfucking right. thing at all. Mm-hmm. I was the only person that solely dis distributed my own products, my own brand, my own thing into mainstream stores. There was no middleman. They had to talk to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, to get your to get your uh, DVDs, any paraphernalia pertaining. They, I didn't have no management, no nothing. I was in that bitch as a BOSS. -S. That's why when those girls be talking about some, oh the porno, no bitch. I'm a, there's there's levels to this. I was not an OnlyFans girl, or I was not a girl of a girl of the. I was a boss. I've never been in a motherfucking employee. I've always been an employer. So, <laughs> bitch, when we talking about that, put some respect on it, bitch. I made my first million dollars, bitch, from ooing and on and owning all of my motherfucking shit. This is from what? Ooing <laughs> and on. <laughs> millions of views today and i don't even i haven't done any adult film work in years mm -hmm. and to this day those Are videos oh uh, bitch what i was just making sure have you, you missed how all these websites excuse got... me have you missed a check no. <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying because you know how certain people you know how people can use sweetheart them. those are mine oh because i'm saying like you know how people can use your those are mine oh, okay okay i'm just asking those belong to me Mm. <laughs> so I when right. I hear people, you know, talk, say ill things about me, you know, I'm like, but you haven't done your research or y'all trying to minim minimize, minimize, you know, the things that I've done on my presence and, and what I did. Like I've been a boss. When I opened the door, said, come on in, bitch. It, this was my mansion first before the, I have the mansion I got now. Mm -hmm. But this was my little mansion first from those little movies, those little bootleg <laughs> movies and all that type of shit. Mm -hmm. And they try to, mm -hmm. people will always try to mm -hmm. take, take what you've accomplished and try to wrap it up into some small paper. Mm -hmm. And you're like, no, Keisha. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, Keisha. I was making three and four and $500,000 a year from, from, 
from those little movies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From those tiny movies that were blurry and fuzzy. That's why I was telling these girls out here that be reading me talking about my microphone. That bitch got those microphones. Baby, you done got all those good microphones and all that wonderful equipment, but you have yet to surpass me because it's not in your DNA. It's always been in mine. 